beautiful and magnificent beings welcome to energy and light it's been a minute I am so glad to be back I missed you guys so much it was beginning to feel like I was never going to get back um, to this place I can't remember having any experience like this in a very very long time um, it wasn't just the fact that I was having problems with my computer but it just it just suddenly seemed like everything was just falling down. I mean, from the smallest thing to the largest thing, it was just piling up and it was very frustrating. And those of you who have been with me for quite a while know that uh, over the years I've had problems with my water system and I've experienced uh, water chemical poisoning, which is horrible. It affects you inside and out. So over uh, probably six months ago, I finally replaced that system. And last month was the first time to change out the new filters. And for whatever reason, those filters um, stopped working after a couple weeks and I didn't know it. So of course, again, water chemical poisoning, but at least I caught it before it got really bad. And then um, I never get sick, and all of a sudden a cold, I'm still getting over, pardon my voice, um, my throat's still a little messed up. So the last three nights, I just slept like 11 hours. I can't believe I slept that much, but I felt great when I got up, so I know I really needed that. And I think a lot of the problem was um, I didn't catch on because they're so sneaky, but uh, I picked up a little passenger. An uninvited guest was lurking and terrorizing my life. So again, if you've been with me a while, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Some of you have had these experiences. I've made videos and it always seems like this happens. This is like the second or third time that I know of this has happened. So it took me maybe a day to get rid of it. Um, if you're someone who has problems, if you feel like there are outside influences messing with you, um, I've made videos. I'll put some links to those below. And um, I also made a request uh, playlist of not just my videos, but also other people's videos that helped me when I was going through this. So I think uh, that was wreaking havoc. That was causing a lot of the problems. But today I woke up and I was just like, oh, I felt amazing. Like I feel like I'm back to where I was before this entire month happened, which was just such a foggy blur and it's almost like it didn't happen. It's so strange. But um, that's one of the side effects. You're kind of in a fog, so you're not quite as aware of what's going on around you as you normally are. So anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to catch up a little bit. And again, thank you so much, everybody. I was really overwhelmed by messages and comments. Um, people were checking up on me and um, looking in to make sure I was okay. And I appreciate that so much. It's it's very touching to me because it's not something I'm used to or grew up with. So I appreciate that so much. It, it really meant a lot to me. So today I thought we would just keep it kind of simple. I'm Again, I feel much better. I feel great, but I'm still in recovery mode. And um, so I thought we would just do some grounding and overall uh, emotional releasing any blockages or anything like that so let me pick up the stones that I've got for this session so again keeping it simple uh, we're going to be using this black tourmaline and also this uh, actually it's a raw piece and this red jasper for just basic grounding and centering and for emotional balance and blockages uh, we're going to be using this Apache Tear, which I haven't used in a while. And also, the Strawberry Calcite is also amazing for blockages and emotional stability. So we're going to be using these four stones. And so now just imagine this energy. Visualize, see the energy coming up out of the stones, sort of like a wave maybe and just see this moving towards you, filling up your auric field, 
your luminous network. And also, I forgot I have this um, black onyx necklace on, so also wafting some of that energy. And just visualize seeing this energy coming up and out of the stones. Maybe visualize it um, colors and just see that flowing to you, feeling the energy moving up and down, filling up your body and clogging any blockages, any attachments. We certainly do not want attachments. Nasty little buggers. And just feeling the energy, seeing it flow up and into the camera. And also, let's add a little rose quartz. Because who can't use a little bit more love? Some light energy, beautiful heart energy. And now just calling in and welcoming the light of all light, Ascended Masters, the Reiki Masters, Spirit and Animal Guides, welcoming all of this incredible angelic realm, cosmic energy, pulling up Earth's energies, intertwining, mixing my own personal energy signature, welcoming in this Reiki and all of this help to assist and guide us through time and space in all dimensions, realities, and timelines. And now, I would like to share the healing power of a cat's purr, seven health benefits that is backed by science and some of them you may expect, and there were a few that were quite surprising. The first one is decreases stress. The second one lowers blood pressure. The third one decreases the risk of heart attack. Number four, promotes bone healing. Apparently a cat's purr vibrates 25 and 50 hertz, which is ideal for bone growth and healing breaks. Number five, improves breathing. Number six, decreases pain and swelling. And number seven, promotes healing. And these are just the top seven I didn't go into depth, but if you would like to know more about this, I'll leave a link below. I'm just going to finish off some liquid smudge, sage and rose. Thank you so much for joining me today, everyone. I hope you're able to enjoy the work and receive the benefits. I truly and deeply appreciate you so very much. Thank you for joining me today. There's so much love for you here. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.